Good morning. Chapter 7, Lesson 5 is on page 326. We're going to be talking about equations in slope. We're going to be using this famous equation that we'll be talking about through most of the rest of the year, the slope-intercept form of the equation, and it looks like y is equal to mx plus b. Very important equation, slope-intercept form. Why do we call it that? Because there's the slope, and here's the y-intercept. Remember we talked about that y-intercept? That's where it crosses the y-axis, and m is equal to the slope. So, let's see if we can use this uh, equation, this formula, y is equal to mx plus b. That's the slope-intercept form of the equation. Slope-intercept form. And we're going to have to put the equation into that form, y is equal to mx plus b, most of the time. Number 41 says, let's make a graph using the slope and the y-intercept. So here we go. Instead of making two points or three points, we're going to see if we can use the slope and that y-intercept. First thing, y is equal to mx plus b. It doesn't quite look like that, so let's see if we can do some manipulation. So we have 2y minus 6x plus 6x is equal to minus 8 plus 6x. Looks like we got a goose egg right here, so this looks like 2y turns out to be 6x minus 8. I just manipulated and moved things around. I swapped these two. Remember, addition is commutative. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 because I want it to look like this slope-intercept form. It has to be y, one y all by itself. So we can cancel out the y's, I mean the 2's. This is going to give us a 3 and that's going to give us a 4. So I think our new equation, just manipulating, it looks like y is equal to 3x minus 4. Again, added 6x to both sides. 2y is equal to 6x minus 8. 6x minus 8. I divided both sides by 2. y is equal to 3x minus 4. Sure looks like that kind of form. From that I can figure out that m is equal to 3 and b is equal to minus 4. Let's go over to our graph then and see if we can figure this out. Well, this point right here is 0, negative 4, which turns out to be on our graph right there. So let's make a dot. The slope turns out to be 3. m turns out to be 3, which is the rise divided by the run, which means it's 3 over 1 for the slope. So let's rise up 3, 1, 2, 3. Let's run over 1, and let's make a dot. Let's rise up 3, 1, 2, 3. Let's run over 1, let's make a dot. Let's rise 1, 2, th one, two 3. Let's run over 1, let's make a dot. Hey, that's what our equation looks like. Let's get our ruler. Let's connect the dots. Let's see if we can do something that looks like that. So there's our graph. Number 53 says m is equal to minus 6 and b is equal to 3 fourths. Let's put this into this y inter slope intercept form of the equation. Whoa, these are probably the easiest problems we're going to have for a little bit. m is equal to minus 6, b is equal to 3 fourths, y is equal to mx plus b. Well, y turns out to be equal to minus 6x plus 3 over 4. There's our equation. That's all they wanted us to do on number 53 was to write an equation in slope-intercept form. It gave us the slope. It gave us the y-intercept. We plugged them in. We got our equation. So there's number 41 and there's number 53. We'll see you guys all tomorrow.